guys and welcome back to my channel so this week I thought I'll do something different um, I did post on you um, Facebook asking you guys to ask me any questions so doing a Q&A for you guys today so if you want to watch and learn more about me then keep watching so like I said Today is all about talking about me instead of me like showing you makeup. I thought today we should just focus on me. Sorry, I asked you to send a lot of questions to me and I got quite a few in my inbox. And some of them might be repetitive, but you know, I sort of chose different ones and I'm gonna answer them for you in this video. I actually had um, two people ask me um about my voice and also they noticed i guess people notice things more than i think they do um so i'll just address it in this um video um they did ask me they said that they noticed that when i talk i am out of breath they correct i am out of breath because about six years ago 2010 I just tell you just uh, briefly um, I had an enlarged thyroid gland and for so long I put off doing surgery and then I decided it was time to sort it out so I decided to have my thyroid removed however there were some complications with the surgery which resulted in me losing my voice and I had to do speech therapy for that to get it back to what it is now but in mind this is not actually the voice I was born with but after a lot of speech therapy this is what I'm working with so yes um, another um, complication that came with the surgery was I struggle for breath mainly when I'm talking I find it hard to make long sentences and also find it hard to like before when i exercise i can probably run on the treadmill for say five minutes straight now one minute is a struggle so yeah so that's what i'm living with i've just sort of accepted it and yeah so but i noticed some people did make that comment and i just thought i'll address it so you know for me when i'm making videos when i do sound like i'm stopping and starting is because of that so anyway let's get to the questions i've got them on my phone so let's start so first question says what is my name um my channel name is topsico but i chose that because topsy is actually a nickname my name is my full name is timmy topwe but the short form is topwe so I am from Nigeria, that's, that's where I'm from originally, but I live in the UK. So yeah, and next question says, what is my marital status? I am married. I have three children, two boys and a girl. Next question says, why did you start YouTube? Oh, okay, I'll try and make that as short as as I can because I do tend to waffle a lot um, I have been through quite a lot in my 37 years and I just know from experience I watch when you're going through things you watch other people or you listen to other people that have been through similar experiences and it gives you comfort to know that you're not alone to know that your feelings are valid so I felt like I've been through some things you know as we get to know each other you will find out what those things are <laughs> so I thought to myself why don't I inspire other women why don't I empower other women to know that you know this is what I've been through you know if you're going through the same thing and just know that it's okay things will get better it might not feel like it at that time when you're going through it, but it will. So yeah, in a nutshell, that's why I started my YouTube. Obviously, you know, apart from inspirational videos to empower people, it's also 
my passion for makeup. I love makeup. I love makeup. <laughs> yeah. So I just thought, you know, why not? You know, I, I don't know it all. I, I learned a lot from YouTube. So why don't I share what I know about makeup? You know, and I, I am also learning. I'm still learning, you know. So yeah, why don't we all just learn together? So yeah, that's why I started YouTube. Next question says, how do you stay so upbeat in the face of adversity? Wow, okay. I might have to answer that in another video. Um, I Most of my Facebook followers will know that I, I um, posted about a month ago about a testimony, about having, you know, the struggles and my journey through, like, having my daughter my last one and I'm, I'm assuming the person who sent these um, question is referring to that experience that I did have so what I just say I will be making another video basically just dedicated to talking about pregnancy loss miscarriages and things of that nature but what I'll just say just a quick answer to that question is just be strong keep your faith continue to pray and continue to know even when things seem so bad when things look so bleak just know at the back of your mind that that light you would see it one day it will be there so that's that's what kept me going and you know yeah so that's just what I'd say I do get very passionate about this topic but like I said I will be making another video to address that and to talk about you know my struggles you know how I overcame and you know things like that so we will cover that in another video um favorite makeup brand is another question well I have a lot but if I was to pick three I would say Makeup Forever, MAC because I actually do like a lot of their lipsticks. I used to use their foundations but my skin is quite sensitive so I used to break out so that's the only reason I don't use their foundation but I do have a lot of their lipsticks so yeah MAC. Nows do really good brush blushes as well. Their blushes are very pigmented and I like Nows as well. Yeah, so that's that question. Next question says, what are my biggest pet peeves? As in, where do I start from? Two, two that I have, because obviously I have loads. But I'd probably say probably the number one on my list will be rude people. I just can't stand rude people. As in, it does not cost anything to be nice. It doesn't cost anything to say thank you or please or good morning it just doesn't cost anything but just some people can be so rude yeah so that that really really gets under my skin another pet peeve is when I'm driving and when people take you know sort of take the roundabout and cross over into my lane that really annoys me I'm like no you can't do that you just can't do that but they do and it annoys me so yeah so those, those are my two pet peeves another question that I had was how how do I look so fabulous with having three kids well thank you um it's a lot I mean yeah it takes a, a, a whole you know village to look like this not village per se but uh, a lot of time to look like this but I feel happy when I look good how about that I I look I feel more confident I feel more comfortable in my own skin when I'm putting my best face forward I mean I'm not saying that you have to wear loads of makeup or anything no that's not what I'm saying I'm just saying when you look good when you got your hair done 
your face looks good you know everything your outfit is is looking popping you feel good so why wouldn't you want to feel good every day yes I do have three kids yes they take up a lot of my time but at the end of the day if you want something really badly then you'll make time for it so that's all I'm gonna say about that if I have to get up an extra hour just to beat my face well that's what I'm gonna do so I hope that answers your question next question says matte or gloss I'm assuming they're talking about lip gloss or lipstick so hmm, that's a hard one because I do like my matte lipsticks at the same time I do like gloss so, okay if I had to choose one I'll go for matte because at least I'd say with, with matte I don't need to touch up as much but if you've got gloss on once you eat it sort of rubs up off and it doesn't last as long as matte does so I choose matte another question says three facts about myself three facts about myself um i don't know how to dance i know african woman i don't know how to dance i i have no rhythm and i don't even know where to start from in terms of trying to learn so i'm just gonna stick to the things that i know how to do anyway the second fact I say is I don't, fun enough, I'm very into my face, hair, clothes and stuff, but I don't actually do my nails. It's not something that interests me. I, yeah, I'm not a nail person. I'm not that girl who goes to the salon to get her nails done once a week. I love it when I see it on people. Don't get me wrong, it's beautiful, but it's just not for me. I don't know if I'll ever be into it, but for now, it's just not my thing. Uh, I'd say the third fact is, I'm actually quite shy. Other people will beg to differ. I, I am, I think, I think I am shy. A little bit. But the thing with me is that I do say that I'm shy, but I strike up conversations so easily. Just like that. So... Although I'm shy on one hand, I'm also very friendly. So, yeah. Um, another question that someone asked was regarding my um, miscarriage and pregnancy losses. But like I said, I will be, um, just to let you know that I will be addressing that. In, I'm going to dedicate a whole video to that because... I know there are lots of women because I, I do get the messages I get after I um, shared my testimony. Um, I did read all of your stories and I felt your pain and I've been there so I know how it feels like. So just hang in there, keep praying, keep the faith, don't give up and just know. Sorry guys, as in my batteries are not allowing me to be great today. So like I said, I was saying yeah soon you will you will overcome so just hang in there yeah and that's all the questions that i had um yeah so i hope you've got to know me a bit better and i actually feel like i'm getting the hang of this you know recording on video thing i'm sort of loosening up a bit more so i feel like yeah making this kind of videos do kind of help so and i hope you've learned a bit more about me as well and if you haven't subscribed hit the subscribe button and leave a comment ask any questions that you feel i haven't covered in this video and because i know you guys are going to ask me about what i have on my lips it's the sephora lip Sephora yeah Sephora lip stain the colors rubbed off but I know I believe it's zero one it's the always red I think that's what it's called if I'm wrong then I'll leave it in the description box and the lashes I have on is the I don't know if you can see that it's the red cherry and the number is five two three yeah so that's me done 
so i'll catch you guys in another video take care of yourselves and stay fabulous